peace and pan-Africanism. Peace and pan-Africanism. Peace and pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism by any means necessary. To my Instagram family, it has been a very long time. To my Instagram family, it has been a very long time. To my Instagram family, it has been a very long time. I am finally out of Instagram jail. I am finally out of Instagram jail. I am finally out of Instagram jail. I haven't seen my Instagram family since August. I haven't seen my Instagram family since August. I haven't seen my Instagram family since August. So where are my alpha males at on Instagram? Shout out to my alpha males with a black fist at. Shout out to the alpha males with a black fist at. Shout out to the alpha males with a black fist at. Where my beautiful African queens at? Where my Instagram queens? I ain't seen you since August. Where my Instagram queens? I ain't seen you since August. I need some hearts from the queendom. I need some hearts from the queendom. I need some hearts from the queen. This is your big brother, King Kong Consciousness, Intercontinental Ifa Tunde, the Prince of Pan-Africanism, the notorious RBG, the most relevant, the most requested, and the most revolutionary scholar in the world today. I said the most relevant, the most requested, and the most revolutionary scholar in the world today. Good afternoon to my TikTok family. 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 Brothers and sisters, there's a lot that has to be talked about. I haven't seen my Instagram family in three months. There's a lot that has to be talked about. I haven't seen my Instagram family in nearly three months. But the first thing I want to tell you to do, Instagram family and TikTok family, is go to DrUmar.tv and subscribe right now. Go to www.drumar.tv. TV. I said go to www.drumar.tv. I said go to www.drumar.tv. I uploaded five new videos. I uploaded five new videos on drumar.tv. The first two videos, part one and part two, why I will not be voting on November the 8th. I said the first two videos, part one and part two, why I will not be voting on November the 8th. I said the first two videos, part one and part two, why I will not be voting on November the 8th. And this morning, I uploaded a three-part movie review for the Woman King, brothers and sisters. That's right, Viola Davis and company. I did a three-part review on the Woman King. So make sure you go to www. DrUmar.tv. Let's take care of some business. First of all, Instagram family, I want you all to know, in TikTok family, I want you all to know, I want my TikTok family and my Instagram family, I want you to know that on Saturday, November the 18th or the 19th, I'm hosting a black parent boot camp training in the city of Philadelphia. I'm inviting everybody to Philadelphia. I'm inviting everybody to Philadelphia on Saturday, November the 19th at 22nd and Allegheny Avenue. There will be a black parent boot camp from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. I said a black parent boot camp from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Philadelphia, Saturday, November the 19th. You don't have to stay all 12 hours if you don't want. I said you don't have to stay all 12 hours if you don't want. I'm going to get the Kanye West in a minute. Hold on, family. I'm going to get the Kanye West in a minute. Hold on, family. I'm going to get the Kanye West in a minute. Yes, I'm going to speak briefly on Kanye, and I'm going to do a more in-depth video on DrUmar.tv. But let me take care of some of the business first. Let me take care of the business of saving black children first, since I am the preeminent frontline soldier fighting to rescue our sons and daughters from the psychoacademic holocaust that is the special education and ADHD war. I said the special education and ADHD war. Let me see who's going to win right now. We got a competition between Instagram and TikTok. I said we got a competition between Instagram and TikTok. I got 1.5 thousand on TikTok. I got 1,000 on Instagram. I got 1.5 thousand on TikTok. I got 1,000 on Instagram. Instagram, don't let TikTok beat you. 
your first day back with King Kong Consciousness. Instagram, don't let TikTok beat you. Your first day back with the Prince of Pan-Africanism. Instagram, don't let TikTok win out my first day out of Instagram jail. But let me say this. If you want to come and get the training, if you want to come to the Black Parent Boot Camp, it's going to be in North Philadelphia. It's going to be in North Philadelphia. And it's going to be from 8 to 8. But if you only want to stay 4 hours, you can do that. If you only want to stay 2 hours, you can do that. If you only want to stay 6 hours, you can do that. If you want to stay 8 hours, you can do that. If you want to do 10 hours, you can do that. But Dr. Umar will be there the whole 12 hours in Philadelphia on Saturday, November the 19th. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about special education. Everything you need to know about regular education. Everything you need to know about the reading disability, the math disability, intellectual disability, emotional disturbance, ADHD, conduct disorder, the IEP, the 504, how to conduct yourself at the meetings, how to successfully win your due process case against your child's school district, brothers and sisters. We going all in. It's a Philadelphia black parent. Know your school rights boot camp. You can come from California. You can come from Texas. You can come from Alabama. You can come from Connecticut, Maryland, New Jersey. You can come from Kentucky and Tennessee and Arkansas. You can come from Illinois and Michigan. You can come from Oregon and Seattle, Washington. I don't care where you come from. You don't have to be a parent. You just have to care about black children. College students pull up. Social activists pull up. Revolutionaries pull up. Pull up if you want to come and learn how to save your children. There will be refreshments throughout the day. Lunch will be catered. There will be refreshments throughout the day. Lunch will be catered. There will be refreshments throughout the day. Lunch will be catered. But this is your time to come and learn. This is your time to come and learn how to save your children from the psychoacademic Holocaust. I'm only doing one or two trainings a month. I'm only doing one or two trainings a month. Now, Instagram, I'm returning to the Caribbean islands next month. I'm returning to the Caribbean islands next month. I'm returning to the Caribbean islands. Islands Intercontinental Eat Fatunde will be back in the Caribbean December 10th, December 11th, December 12th, and I will be in the island of Aruba. Where are my Aruba Africans at? Where are my Aruba Africans at? Where are my Aruba Africans at? That's right. That's right. Where are my St. Martin Africans at? Where are my St. Martin Africans at? That's right. We're my Amsterdam Africans and my Rotterdam Africans. That's right. We're my, what, how you say the island? Caracal, Carousel, Carousel. I forget how to pronounce it. You know what I'm talking about. All my Dutch island Africans, I'm coming to your territory. I said all my Dutch island Africans, I'm coming to your territory. My Carousel, Caracal, Amsterdam, St. Martin, pull up in Aruba. Pull up in Aruba. King Kong consciousness is pulling up in the island of Aruba, December 10th, 11th, and 12th. December 10th, 11th, and 12th. If you want more information, Dr. Umar Aruba at gmail.com. If you want more information, get your tickets, Dr. Umar Aruba at gmail.com. You say, why am I going to Aruba? Because it's Africans there. It's just that simple for me. Why am I coming to Aruba? It's Africans there. It's just that simple to me. You dealing with King Kong consciousness. I'm going, I go anywhere the Africans are. I go to the prison. I go into the drug house. I go anywhere African people are because it's about liberation. It's about revolutionary pan-African liberation, brothers and sisters. So if you want more information, make sure you go D-R-U-M-A-R Aruba at gmail.com. I said D-R-U-M-A-R Aruba at gmail.com. Now, we got Nat Turner coming up next Friday. We got Nat Turner coming up next Friday. We got Nat Turner coming up next Friday. If you need to reach me, 
text message 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. If you need to schedule a consultation, life skills, if you need to flyer to the Philadelphia Boot Camp November the 19th, if you need to flyer to the Philadelphia Boot Camp November the 19th, but let me tell you, Registration deadline for the Philadelphia Boot Camp is November the 7th, 1159 p.m. Registration deadline for the Philadelphia Black Parent Boot Camp is November the 7th, 1159 p.m. You must be registered. You must be registered. If you need the link, text me or go to DrUmarJohnson.com. Shout out to my London Africans. I loved you. Shout out to all my London Africans who pulled up in London a few weeks ago. Shout out to my London Africans. We already working on my return to London. We already working on my return to London. I'm going to get the Kanye in a minute, but it's about Ifa Tune Day right now. I'm going to get the Kanye, but we talk about Ifa Tune Day. I said, I'm going to get the Kanye, but we talk about Ifa Tune Day. Kanye ain't building two independent schools for black boys, but I am. Sean Puffy Combs ain't building two independent schools for black boys, but I am. LeBron James ain't building two independent schools for black boys, but I am. Oprah Winfrey ain't building two independent schools for black boys, but I am. Tyler Perry ain't building two independent schools for black boys, but I am. So we're going to get to Kanye, but right now we're dealing with Ifa Tunde. That's right. Institution builder Ifa Tunde. And I'm only mentioning them because they billionaires who ain't built no institutions yet. I love and respect them. But every black billionaire should be building an institution in the black community. I said every black billionaire, Sean Carter as well. I'm going to call him my man Jay Z. I salute you. I respect you. Where the institutions at, family? Puff Daddy, you a billionaire now? Congratulations. Where the institutions at? LeBron James, you a billionaire now. I salute you. Where the institutions at, family? Institutions are the biggest part of the solution. Cheney University, you want me at Cheney University? Send a request. Dr. Umar Johnson at Yahoo.com. You want me at Clark? You want me at Morehouse? You want me at Spelman? You want me at South Carolina State? You want me at the University of Maryland Eastern Shore? You want me at Howard? You want me at Coppin? You want me at Bowie? You want me at Morgan? You want me at Hampton, Virginia State, Virginia Union? Y'all know the number, 215-989-9858. Y'all know the email, D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson at Yahoo.com. Join me in Nat Turner land next Friday. Friday, November the 11th, Friday, November the 11th, on Friday, November the 11th, we will be honoring Nat Turner, the 191st Memorial of Nat Turner's hanging, the 191st Memorial of Nat Turner's hanging. Nat Turner was hanged on November the 11th, 1831. And so we going to Nat Turner land. Get your tickets, NatTurnerLibrary.com. We going to Nat Turner land. Get your tickets, NatTurnerLibrary.com. We going to Nat Turner land. Get your tickets, NatTurnerLibrary.com. We going to celebrate Nat Turner forever. And then we going to the movies to watch Wakanda forever. I said we going to celebrate Nat Turner forever and then we're going to go to the movies and watch Wakanda forever I said we're going to celebrate Nat Turner in the day and we're going to go see Wakanda in the evening brothers and sisters Ifa tune day three times Ifa tune day three times how's the school you were building well let me give you an update on FDMG brothers and sisters let me give you a quick update on FDMG but let me first say thank you to all the donors Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. HVAC is in place. The gym's HVAC is completely done. 
The school's HVAC is on the verge of being done. The electrical repairs are almost done. The plumbing repairs are about 60% done. Let me just sum it up like this for all my FDMG donors. And I do have a clubhouse interview tonight. I'm on clubhouse tonight, brothers and sisters. I will be on clubhouse tonight. I have an interview on clubhouse. You can find my page, Prince Ifa Tunde. I think it's Prince Ifa Tunde on clubhouse. Prince Ifa Tunde on clubhouse. 10 o'clock interview tonight, Eastern Standard Time. 10 o'clock interview tonight, Eastern Standard Time. If you want to interview me on your clubhouse, if you want to interview me on your YouTube, if you want to interview me on your Instagram, if you want to interview me for your podcast, you can text your interview requests with the most relevant, requested, and revolutionary black scholar in the diaspora. You can text that request to 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. Interview requests, lecture requests. You can text that too. I just got a request from Buffalo, New York for Kwanzaa. I just got a request for Buffalo, New York for Kwanzaa. I just got a request for Buffalo, New York for Kwanzaa. December the 28th. Buffalo, New York, December the 28th. Buffalo, New York, December the 28th. Brook, Bronx, New York. Boogie Down Bronx, December 30th. Kwanzaa season. Boogie Down Bronx, December 30th. Kwanzaa season. Boogie Down Bronx. If I tuned in three times, December 30th. Kwanzaa season. We working on Albany, New York for the grand debut. We working on Albany, New York for the grand debut. Lecture requests, 215-989-9858. Interview requests, 215-989-9858. Or D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson. D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson at Yahoo.com. Don't tell me I'm losing weight, sweetheart, because I'm still Big Papa. Don't tell me I'm losing weight because I'm still Big Papa. Rochester, New York, you got to make a request. See, this is the victory lap. Because once the school is done, I won't be able to travel too much anymore. This is the victory lap. Once the school is done, I won't be able to travel too much anymore. This is the victory lap. Once the school is done, I won't be able to travel too much anymore. Oh, yes. Baltimore, Maryland, first day of Black History Month, February the 1st. Baltimore, Maryland, first day of Black History Month, February the 1st. Baltimore, Maryland, first day of Black History Month, February the 1st. Calumet City, Illinois, I'm coming to you in March. Calumet City, Illinois, also my Instagram family, you don't know this, but I'm letting you know now. Twit, my TikTok family already know this. My TikTok family, but my Instagram family, we going back to Africa. Instagram, we going back to Africa. Instagram, we going back to Africa. It's been three years since my last Africa trip. COVID disrupted the Africa tours. But if you want to go to the motherland with King Kong consciousness, we going. If you want to go to the motherland with King Kong consciousness, we going. If you want to go to the motherland with King Kong consciousness, we going. First two weeks in March. We're going to Senegal, Gambia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea-Bissau. Senegal, Gambia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea-Bissau. First two weeks in March. Senegal, Gambia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea-Bissau. Registration will be out this month. Get your passport, black man, pay your child support. Get your passport and pay your child support. I said, get your passport and pay your child support because if the child support ain't paid, you cannot get on the Black Star Liner, brothers and sisters. I'm taking 25 brothers and 25 sisters. I'm taking 25 brothers and 25 sisters. You know what? I'm going to take 30 sisters and 20 brothers. I'm going to take 
30 sisters and 20 brothers. You know what? I'm going to take 40 sisters and 10 brothers. I'm going to take 40 sisters and 10 brothers. I said, I'm going to take... Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take 30 sisters and 20 brothers. I'm going to take 30 sisters and 20 brothers because it is consciousness over the cookies. It is politics over the punani. It is revolution over the romance. It is institutions over intimacy. It is business before the bedroom. It is organization before orgasm, brothers and sisters. And then the last week of July, first week in August, last week of July, first week in August, last week of July, first week in August, we go into Ethiopia and South Africa. Last week of July, first week in August, Ethiopia and South Africa. If I tuned it three times, last week of July, first week of August, Ethiopia and South Africa. We must stay focused. We must stay focused. www.drumar.tv www.drumar.tv Pull up to the Philadelphia Boot Camp. Pull up to Nat Turner. And then on Saturday, November the 26th, we go into the casino of Atlantic City, New Jersey. I said on Saturday, November the 26th, we go into the casino of Atlantic City, New Jersey. I said on Saturday, November the 26th, we go into the casinos of Atlantic City, New Jersey. The Black Business Expo and Fashion Show. I said the Black Business Expo. Expo and Fashion Show. I said the Black Business Expo and Fashion Show is going down Saturday, November the 26th, Showboat Casino, Atlantic City. I said Showboat Casino, Atlantic City. I said Showboat Casino, Atlantic City, New Jersey, City on the Water, Jersey City, November the 26th, if you are a vendor, and you want to sell your merchandise. If you are a vendor and you want to make some money selling your merchandise, text me for the flyer. I'm not the host, but I'm the keynote speaker. Text me for the flyer. I'm not the host, but I'm the keynote speaker. Text me for the flyer. I'm not the host. I'm the keynote speaker at the Atlantic City Black Business Expo, Saturday, November the 20. Six. The, 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 the expo is from 11 to 7. I speak at 3. The fashion show is at 2 or 4. The fashion show is right before I speak or right after I speak. So me and the fashion show, we, we back to back. Atlantic City, this is what we going to do. Everybody going to play the casino, hit that money so we can renovate the Frederick Douglass High School. What do y'all think about that, Africans? What do you think about that? Everybody's coming to the showboat and you're going to play some, I don't even know how to play, some cards or some spades or roll some dice, some backgammon. Whatever you do in Atlantic City, I need you to do it on November the 26th so we can get this money and renovate the rest of the FDMG campus, brothers and sisters. Please stop asking me where the school at. You gots to be a fool if you don't know we've had a school for three years now. You gots to be a fool if you don't know we've had a school for four years now. I'm not even going to address that, Negro peon. I'm not even going to address you. Kanye West. Kanye West. What does the leading black scholar in the world think of Kanye West? What does the most influential black school psychologist of all time think about the Kanye West situation? What does the prince of pan-Africanism think about the Kanye West situation? This is what I'm going to say because I have a video coming on www.drumar.tv. But I'm going to say this. Negro peons, I'm going to say this. Kanye spoke the truth. And he's the first black billionaire to call a spade a spade 
since Michael Jackson. I commend Kanye for speaking truth, the power, and being unapologetic enough to suffer the consequences boldly and proudly. Shout out to Kanye. I'm disappointed that so many other prominent black men in the entertainment industry did not support and stand by him, but out of jealousy and fear of the power structure. Out of jealousy and fear of the power structure, they would not back Kanye. Instead, they condemned Kanye in order to earn a seat at their master's table. Instead of backing Kanye, they condemned Kanye in order to earn a seat at the master's table. They know Kanye told the truth, but because their money is tied up in the power structure, because their money is tied up in the power structure, they helped the power structure hang Kanye out to dry. With that being said, I need Kanye to be a little bit more consistent in his political position. He's very bipolar in his political conversation. Kanye West is very bipolar in his political position. He's a political schizophrenic. And what do I mean when I say brother Kanye is a political schizophrenic? Someone who's schizophrenic has a split mind. Almost a split personality. One day he's talking about he needs to stand up for his people. The next day he's praising Donald Trump. One day he's talking about I need to stand up for my people. The next day he's praising Donald Trump. One day he's talking about my black children being exposed to non-black people, but then he's on a date with a new snow bunny. But then he's on a date with a new snow bunny. But then he's on a date with a new snow bunny. That's what you call politically schizophrenic behavior. That's what you call bipolar black power. You want to struggle black, but you want to date white. One minute, Kanye is talking about these exploitative contracts that the white power structure has all the black entertainers under. And the next day, he's going to help Candace Owens' white husband open up a social media company. Come on, Kanye. Come on, Kanye. How are you going to talk about exploitative contracts and then the next minute, you're going to help and help Candace Owens is the number one female Negro peeing in the country. You're going to help her white husband start a social media company. Come on, Kanye. Come on, Kanye. So I need Kanye to make up his mind. Where does he stand? But I'm going to tell you what my big fear is regarding Kanye West. I'm going to tell you what my big fear is regarding Kanye West. I have a bad feeling that Kanye is doing all of this talking because he ain't built nothing for black people yet. He's doing all of this talking because he ain't built nothing for black people yet. And at the end of the day, he's going to go right back to being the black fish in a sea of white. He's going to go back to being the black fish in the sea of white. I have no belief whatsoever that Kanye West is interested in a black agenda. Kanye is a multiculturalist. He talks black, but he lives extremely white. He talks black, but he lives exceedingly white. So I am not convinced that Kanye West has an agenda to help our community. I think all of this is smoke and mirrors 
so he can get free of those contracts. 